Hi gang, Mr. Ed here for another episode of Mr. Ed Makes, Mr. Ed Draws. Maybe I should just call it both of those things, I don't know. You guys will figure out, if you've watched me at all, you know that I'm an artist and I just, uh, I do what I do. At the end of the day, I'm not an entertainer. So as much as I want to create for an audience, I really have to follow what's true to me as an artist. So if there's a creative avenue that I feel compelled to go down, I'm, I'm going to go down it and this is that creative Avenue so if you're new here uh, you may not know I do lots of other art in addition to computer art that you see here but the, the last series of videos I've really been focusing on using math and computer algorithms to create art uh, specifically kaleidoscopic patterns and, and different kinds of just these strange chaotic geometries and in this example here I use a waveform and it's essentially nodes that extend from the upper left hand corner toward the center and then those are there's lines drawn between them and it's reflected horizontally and vert vertically to create the kaleidoscope but it's essentially just a line made of I think 13 nodes and these nodes are um, they move back and forth along the X and Y axis and they're kind of tied to a fixed point and the speed of that movement may increase over time or decrease over time depending on how I have the variable set up and uh, the colors change based on an accumulator after so much time the color will change and then when I recorded this video, I used my editing software to um, create a full version in the center, and it's over the top of another full version that's a little bit larger. So it creates like this double layered kaleidoscopic effect, which I thought was really neat. But essentially the program is the smaller square in the center. So why 8-bit art? Well, it's kind of like a really sophisticated light bright is anybody old enough to remember what those are I, I look at it kind of like that way plus I don't have to worry about losing pegs and it moves so it's just like the best of everything and uh, it's pretty simple to program the math isn't terribly sophisticated it's pretty easy to figure out but the results are from that simple math are really beautiful and I've heard mathematicians talk about how formulas and and mathematical principles are beautiful almost art like in what they're able to describe and when you you graphically describe math occurring over you know iterations of math and then if you actively variate those iterations then you can just create an endless just this thing will go on forever and I doubt it will repeat the same color and um, geometry it just really is limitless. There's a lot of variability here. Let me know what you think. Do you like these videos? Do you not like these videos? Do you find this interesting? Do you find it hypnotic? Do you find it boring? I'm going to be uploading other art videos, dry erase, sculpture, what have you, the stuff that you're used to seeing, but I'm also going to be continuing to work on these further because I personally find them very satisfying. I love the challenge and the results are hypnotic. Well, thanks for watching. Hit the bell icon if you want to see more. And until next time, you guys, take care.